Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Mustafar Galactic Qualifier. This is our last qualifier before the Battle of Exegol, the finale to the Galactic Championship. Here we have Marcel Manzano versus Andrew Oler. We will be crowning a new qualifier winner at the end of this one. I am joined by the ever amazing, the ever faithful, the ever intelligent Marcel. No, not the, sorry. Of course, Marcel would mess me up on this. William Haywood. Unforgettable name you forgot, I think. I yeah. just, I'm ter <laughs> terrible, terrible. I tried to give you an epic <laughs> intro and completely butchered it. Um, it's okay. I, the podcast. The podcast intro got me. That's what that was. <laughs> anyway, and also all the same adjectives for James Ritter. Yeah. All, all the same things. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Hey, right, guys. Classic. All right. So here we have the Empire versus the Resistance in our final. We're going to have Will break down those lists here in a second. But before we do that, let's make sure everybody knows that they can choose their champion and that this game is brought to you by our patrons. If you want to be a part of our biggest group of supporters, head to patreon.com slash gold squadron to become a part of that community. Thank you to everybody who has. If you can become a patron for as little as six dollars a month to get four shipments of swag a year we do them in two different uh shipping cycles you get four sets and um people were requesting for me to do audiobook readings i might do that i don't know we'll we'll see but we'll figure it out you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron will go ahead break down these lists and everybody at home choose your champion it's the final guys let's go let's go all right, let's start with Marcel Lanzano. Finally, Imperials, your bet one all champion here. We're going to start with that ship in the top left of your screen. That's Countdown in the TIE Striker. Has the ability to ignore a shot, or damage rather, uh, to suffer one damage and take one stress token. Uh, has equipped some offensive upgrades through Ruthless and Crack Shop, even handing out strain through Tiber Saxon Gunner. Now, also has brought a full swarm of TIE Fighters uh, with Aiden Versio leading the charge here. Aiden can uh, deflect an entire attack's worth of damage uh, by spending her single charge. It's brought some up for offensive upgrades herself between Ruthless Cluster Missiles and the Targeting Computer and has brought uh, Elusive as a defensive tech as well. Then we move on to Moff Gideon, the real crooks, crooks, crooks. I don't know that word now. <laughs> Crux, yes, thank you. Uh, the, uh, like Horcrux, yes. Uh, of the list is Moff Gideon. Uh, now, Moff Gideon uh, essentially can shut down your defensive modifiers at the cost of straining uh, one of Moff Gideon's friendly ships. Uh, that shutdown of defensive ability uh, makes his thread tracers so much more accurate even has ruthless uh, for double modifying uh, those tracer missiles will need a focus to shoot but then will uh, pass out locks to uh, each friendly at range one to three of that defender did we was that some shots that was a correct shot onto Wilsa Teshlo uh, from Countdown, oh, wow. forcing two hits to go through. Starting oh, wow. with starting with guys, two hits. Wow. And you guys were worried about Countdown just jousting uh, the whole half of the board. I, we, I still don't it. agree, but yeah, I, it's, don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, I know it's worked out the the two times, but. <laughs> Nah, I he's fine. He's got that, right? He's got that ability. He's, he's fine. Got, got uh, those, like, I got this, guys. I'm fine. I got this. You take that side, I'll take this side. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, these stretch racers, what makes them so potent, though, is that when you give out those locks, he's got false transponder codes on Gideon and on the ISB Jinguist. So um, potentially three jams after you have... Uh, uh, hit with those thread tracers. Also important uh, to give out locks to Gideon Hask. 
uh, who gets an extra attack dice when rolling against a damage defender, uh, which could up his cluster missiles from three dice to a four dice attack. Has brought ruthless and elusive in addition to a targeting computer as well. Uh, we've seen Marcel take advantage of those ruthlesses uh, using the health of these TIE fighters as a valuable resource uh, to uh, put damage out. Uh, we have in yellow Del Mico, similar ability, but this one for defense. Uh, after a damage ship attacks a uh, friendly at range zero to two, that uh, ship can reroll one of their defense dice. It's about elusive and a big heavy laser cannon, a four dice bullseye attack uh, that could be just as potent uh, as uh, any of these other cluster missiles might be. Then, of course, uh, uh, green and blue are those ISB Jinguists with the false transponder codes. Uh, they hand out strain at range uh, zero to one when they engage. Uh, so you potentially could get strained and have Moff Gideon shut down your defensive capabilities. You've seen it to great success, absolutely denying uh, the, the mods from his opponents. Now, on the other side, though, might need might not need all those tricks uh, that are very powerful against, uh, say, uh, like high agility ships, focus evading defenders and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, because most of these ships are just simple one agility Y wings. Uh, let's start with uh, the man at the top of the board, though. This is Commander Poe. He's kind of a oh, not sorry, wrong guy. He's the top of the board. Oh, I thought no, you were no, on the top no, of the no, list. You hold, you hold uh, on. <laughs> I, I hold it back. I'm holding it back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. This is Commander Poe with a beautiful uh, alt art here uh, that's uh, being utilized. Has the ability to take a, an extra action every other round, uh, treating that action as red. So we do have Heroic and Crack Shot uh, for his talents, or for Astromech, uh, for those hard turn. Uh, hard to blues and then proton torpedoes we had a big debate earlier about whether outmaneuver or proton torpedoes would be better and here we go we see the proton torpedo version make it into the finals let's move on along to these y wings all fairly similar um, but they have small differences here all of them are going to have uh, the ion cannon turret the engine upgrade and the targeting computer um, those modifications work with their intuitive interfaces. Anytime they do that boost or target lock action, they're going to get a calculate action as well. Great for double modifying their ion cannon turret. Uh, so you can get focus, or sorry, get lock and that calculate. Wilsa, though, uh, has brought the Lars droid L4ER5. Not only does that allow her a rotate to calculate but can pass one of her calculates to a friendly ship in their firing arc. So whether you're boosting or target locking uh, or rotating, you can uh, support your friends as well. Um, each one of these Y-Wings does have a bomb. Wilsa has brought bomblet generator, uh, Shaza the proton bomb, and Sai has brought proton bombs as well. Oh, you know what? I just realized this Sai is a bit funny. Uh, she's rocking the dorsal turret and R5X3, uh, allowing her to ignore an obstacle uh, until the end of the phase. Uh, combine that with belly run, you can actually throw yourself onto an obstacle, even boost onto an obstacle, and then in the engagement phase, be able to fire that dorsal turret. That actually makes that like belly run usable, in my opinion. Oh, Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think R5X3 might be my favorite resistance droid. Uh, he's fairly reasonably priced, like four or five points mm -hmm. for essentially a collision detector. Uh, and yeah, combined with the belly run, because not only does belly run allow you to do the special attacks at range zero of uh, asteroids, uh, when you defend, uh, the attacker cannot reroll attack dice. So a little bit, and plus you might get the obstruction bonus then too, right? So a lot of potential there, in my opinion. 
Uh, we have the little two-point pod, though, BB-8. I uh, can boost or bear roll in the system phase. Uh, this has equipped Chewbacca crew. After a friendly ship rings 0 to 3 is dealt one damage card, you may recover one charge. And then, while you perform an attack, you may spend two charges to change one eyeball result to a critical result. Uh, so a little bit of offensive tech there for the old BB-8. And then, Dion, you know, mm -hmm. we got we got a guy who you might have heard of. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> uh, that is Finn in the pod. Uh, this Finn can add eyeball and blank results, though if he adds an eyeball result, he will have to suffer a strain. Has heroic, predator, and perceptive co-pilot. Uh, that combination uh, makes his dice so consistent. You roll two blanks, boom, throw down a blank, and you could re-roll it with heroic. But enough about that. Let's talk about Poe uh, doing just one damage to Countdown. Just a little, just a little tickle. Okay, so Countdown does not need to utilize the stress then. That's right, but we'll be taking a range two shot at Finn through an asteroid, unlikely to do much damage. Not taking any other shots. We'll spend for two, and Finn will probably Ooh. take the strain here to avoid the damage. No, he doesn't have any oh, focuses. He, doesn't have any focuses. he picked up a crate. Uh, and uh, Countdown is going to throw some Tiber Saxon strains on him as well. Now we're checking the rest of the shots here. Looks like Jinguist has range onto Shaza for just a hit. Easy dodge. No shots there for Aiden. And Gideon does have a shot on BB-8. Yeah, Gideon kind of off by himself out there. Quality hits. And Easy plenty. evades. All right. Uh, green Jingoist here. I assume I'm going to shoot at BB-8. Hit focus. Yeah, taking, yeah. taking two shots right now. Psy and BB-8. Do not want to spend it. Uh, but forces mm -hmm. through the damage. All right. Well, Psy well, si decided not to spend the focus there, right? Uh, that's uh, uh, Psy shoots at initiative two. Uh, that was uh, I. That was the Jingo shooting at BB-8. Uh, and yeah, kept, but yes, did keep the focus. Wanted it for defense here. Oh, sorry, I got my target targets mixed up there. Got it. No, no worries. One uh, here's one the there. side shot, though. Can I finish out the round? And single crit, not able to use the focus, and not gonna matter. Easy evades. So right there, right. Andrew Oler will end up scooping up three crates. Marcel, two. So only a one-point differential in this opening. And uh, Poe was able to save the uh, charge. Yeah, Did not... the focus bear roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, the big focus roll. Yeah, yeah. No, well, no, not big. Not, not the yeah, overtune. Yeah. Not the overtune one, it's but the yeah. linked one is what the I meant. The linked, uh, yeah. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> hey, real now quick. We saw, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So for, for people who are on our Discord community, I did put a poll out. Uh, we created a new channel that's in the important stuff section uh, called Polls. And this is just me just asking questions. Could be about X-Wing, could be about pricing, all kinds of stuff. Our first question is, uh, I, have, I, I had an idea for a, uh, a a top of faction prize for a future event and i would like to know your opinion on uh on a prize that i put in there I put a picture on there i don't want to tell you what it is i'd rather have you just go look and you tell me if you think 
yeah, cool, do it. Or, eh, I mean, I could leave it or take it, no big deal. Or give me the, give me the, give me the no thanks if it's not really for you. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. All you gotta do is click the three, one of the three little buttons, just to let me know how you feel about. Um, what, what I personally thought was a cool idea, which is why I put it out there, but what I think is cool is different than, um, what it is. What if the size is wrong? Well, I mean, you, you would tell me the size and then I would order it, right? That's how that makes sense to do. (laughs) So thank you to everybody who participates. You know, it's always fun trying to find interesting things to make for prizes uh, for you guys. And I did I did have somebody ask what, what – I mean, I didn't think I had to say this, but obviously if you won top of faction for resistance, you would get like resistance version of it, separatist version of it, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry, this tournament is a size nine only. <laughs> no, everybody doesn't get scope. All right. Uh, yeah, if the uh, if we're only giving out those to scum, everybody else could you know get a token or something. No big deal. <laughs> Might encourage some diversity in yeah. uh, in our list for sure. <laughs> that, that's right. You just make make one faction's top faction prize just the, uh, absolutely bonkers, and the rest is just me. Yeah, we'd really figure out what the best scum list is then, right? Yep. <laughs> with that with that style of encouragement. Uh, so let me ask you guys. What's the what's the target priority for these Tie Fighters? You just blast one of these three point Y wings. You're trying to go for the uh, the caches on the pods. Uh, I mean, I mean, both of these pods have lost a shield, their shields already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it could be some easy targets. Um, but I mean, you mentioned it before. Um, the uh, before we started streaming here, that uh, these ties could. Uh, possibly, like, just take out a Y wing a turn if just uh, if they if they if if they hit their target priority right. Mm-hmm. Well, they're coming in for blocks, is what it looks like. They're getting nice and close. Well, well, you got to be careful. What if that Jingoist comes like 4K, and then the rest of them come in too forward and just blast <laughs> one of these? Uh, maybe BB-8. Uh, I thought might bear roll. Uh, maybe take the outside nope. lane there. Coming so, on in, though. All right, here's Get Moss Gideon getting it started with the three bank. Oh, it's the salvage, obviously. Thank you, James. Iden as well. Three banking. What Y-wings? Who? <laughs> Just going right past these Y-wings. Uh, don't need to worry about those guys. Yeah, you're, you're three point. It's uh, pretty cute, but uh, we're playing the objectives around here. Oh, look at this Gideon turn back in. I was like, man, you're really going to go face uh, off against uh, Poe and uh, Wyoming uh, by yourself? Poe? <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's a bold call. Gideon. I can uh, do it, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we're getting a ping on Moff Gideon. No, they're, they're just talking about uh, where the Y Wings should have gone. What do you mean? Yeah, the look at, all these, look at all these Tie Fighters just avoiding these blocks. No, not that one. Are they discussing um, the game time decisions during a game? Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, you, yeah. you do a little chit chat, and you know. No, this is a fine. This is serious. You, you don't no. serious. Oh yeah. I'm only talking to you about game stuff. That's it. Mm 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 mm. Nope. Yeah, so this don't is ask, this don't is ask me about this. about my groceries, okay? I'm focusing oh, on the game. <laughs> Countdown said, "What's up, Finn? What you doing over here?" That's All it. right, well, <laughs> that's that's right. So Countdown has already used the crack shot. Is going to be sitting at range one as well with a strain on Finn still and a 
big reach for Wilson with the target lock on Gideon. Mm-hmm. Can't boost. Picked up a crate earlier. Uh, so that's the preferred action here. Uh, Poe's going to be looking for a Proton Torpedo on Gideon as well, most likely. Uh, that should boost, just be lock? at the edge of range three. Yeah, if you lock it, you're going to look real silly boosting afterwards. So He got it. Oh, he's got oh, range. He got it range. is obstructed, though. That helps Gideon out because he'll have four agility dice. He's going to need it. Uh, Poe pops his ability, gets that red focus as well. Good luck, Unfortunately, Gideon. I think the the TIE Fighters split their fire. So hopefully uh, those combined efforts will help out BB-8. Oh, man, that it. Lars sling. I'm telling you, if you're not put flying, Wilsa, with the Lars droid in your resistance list, I don't know what you're doing. That's right. L4 ER5. Ability. Very good support piece. And here's the Proton Torpedo. After the dust settles, that's going to be two hits, two crits. After spending the focus, Gideon, uh, one more die, friend. <laughs> they, they caught it. They caught it. Oh, and the elusive. All right, still okay. takes one crit. Not denied. We'll be forced to spend the focus. Takes a critical damage. It is a fuel <laughs> leak. Danger. He Danger, saved himself there because that would have been a destroyed Gideon Hask if uh -huh. he had not spent the focus. Because he would have oh, dealt the, the crit. crits. You're yep. right. He would have yeah. dealt the fuel leak first. All right. Let's see Moff Gideon firing at range yeah. two into BB-8. <laughs> Yeah, yeah those, uh, <laughs> those calculates those calculates are gonna be real cute when they get jammed off. Yeah. So going Ooh, to Andy's... strain Iden yeah. to deny the calculates on the tracer missile. BB-8 does have three health left, so he is so by by spending the charge here, you're saying that y you would prefer to have the mods versus the extra shot here. Uh yeah, well it's the it's the jams is what's mm -hmm. gonna do it because you're gonna jam off both those calculates. And there we go, we get a a plethora of target locks out here. Ooh, gets one on countdown as well. <laughs> nice reach. That's free. Uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, how many false transponder codes. So there's one from the jingoist. Mm -hmm. Get out here. Calculate. Uh, the other Jingoist uh, might not have a shot. I mean, Moff Gideon has one, right? Does he? I guess Moff he has to shoot. Yeah, yeah, you might. You might want to save your Moff false transponder codes for uh, Poe Dameron. Okay. In case uh, he tries to torp you. Yep. So double Jingoists. Yep. False transponders goes down. So powerful. Uh, Iden gets one, and then it should be Del Miko as well. Yeah, that flexibility uh, to choose how many jams you want to give an opponent yeah. uh, is so powerful. It also takes that, that extra level of planning, right? I think some people might just throw like, oh, everybody gets a target lock. Here we go, mm -hmm. and, and end up accidentally wasting those abilities. Yep, so got six locks, everybody but Moff Gideon. All uh, right, which, so. again, uh, lets him save that false transponder code for the next Thread Tracer. I'm assuming we're starting with Aiden. We are range one. Three dice. Single crit. Has a target lock. Gets another shot there. That's hit, crit, crit. Aiden Ooh. might do it by herself. <laughs> Single squiggle, double crits coming into BB-8. That is a uh, panic panicked. pilot and Indirect. a direct hit. BB-8 goes down. Yeah, turns out uh, the the extra mods was necessary, Dion. Yep, yep, that was Roger, Roger. Gone. 
also uh, probably the, the additional step. Not only does that gain Marcel two points, BB-8 forced to drop the crate on the way out, which means one less objective point for Andrew Oler going into the following end phase. But don't worry, the Empire's not done. Still has a range one shot into Finn as well. And a couple shots into these uh, these Y-Wings. Uh, yeah, we're going to start with... These are both the Jinguist, so we're going to ask about Strain or... Calculate, going to keep the calculate and just take the strain. So that means zero agility, whatever roll is rolled. Oh, sorry, that's Iden strain. My bad. It's awful close to, sorry. So Kai's, Kai. Kai, Kai's taking a deplete. Not not offering the strain. Got to deplete instead. Range one. Hit, oh, oh, boy. hit crit. <laughs> and spends the calculate. Alright. We'll drop two shields then on Kai. Uh, then the other Jinguist. Same question. Now here now you just you drop the strain here. Oh not... you could or oh, you could deplete the Shaza instead. Oh she's gonna spend her calculate. Range one spends the focus for three and two out of three will land. You got Kai down to three hall. Ooh, that damage card's going to be important though. That's right. Gideon has going to get a bonus die three versus two. Only one hit. No mods. Not going to be able to do any damage there with yeah. the natties on Kai. Yeah, could have ruthless here, but uh, I don't think it was a good idea. Wasn't worth it. Not yet. Not yet. No. All right. Range one coming in from countdown. Four dice. Single hit. Turns it into two. And both of those will end up sticking oh. unless <laughs> we get the, Finn no, using his ability. Blank. Heroic. And oh. blank to blank. Oops. All blanks. All blanks. Wow. Uh, then gonna Tyber Saxon him another strain as well. Tyber Saxon, downright dirty. Gonna be honest with you. So that leaves Finn down to one hole going into round four. We do have a shot from this y from the Y Wings now. Wilsa coming up. Single hit, has a reroll, make it two. Uh, oh, he so boosted. No, no, he target locked. Target lock calculated. Oh, he threw the calculate, though. Yes, he, he did. did. All right, so we're going to need a squiggle here naturally from Gideon. You got it. Got We're two. good. We're good. Everything's fine here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Iden's still strained. Uh, from Moff Gideon's attack, but I don't think anybody can shoot at her this yeah, round. No one can. All right, Shasa able to put out one hit, one evade. Offense right. going towards Marcel this turn. Another shot. This one's going into Moff Gideon. Two hits. <laughs> Nope. No, no, depleted. 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 Only one die, one hit, spends a focus for two. And two evades. Sorry, that wasn't a focus. That was a deplete. So one hit, two evades. Finn trying to do something. Has a range three obstructed shot into Aiden. Oh, they pulled it off on accident earlier when they destroyed. Me. Okay. That's a focus result. Could make it two by taking an additional strain and spending focuses. Yeah, no optics on this one. So he doesn't use his ability then, just no, one he hit. He doesn't he doesn't want the strain, no. And one for uh, you one. Have, you have a countdown chasing you. So maybe, you know, you don't strain yourself.
All right. It looks like the at the end of round three, we have six to five in favor of the Empire. And right there, countdown doing some work. Listen, guys, I, I know nothing about this game. Apparently, you can joust <laughs> a a single striker against four ships and just be fine. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think it's just Marcel, like literally bullying. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel's walking around like, guys, they just let me. They just let they me. Just, they just let me. I tell I tell them the countdown ability that they can't do damage to the ship, and they just. They don't. They, they don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what this guy like tells his opponents um, to like get past them like this every game that we've seen. Uh, but well, the other two games, Countdown didn't make it very far past that joust. But uh, this one, yeah, but, good. But, I, but I think it gives the ties enough time to whittle down whatever opposition they're up against mm -hmm. and start to you know swarm the rest of the list mm -hmm. and, 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 and start, that makes sense and, start, that makes yeah, sense. and starts to, you know how like aces usually like you know they tag in and tag out i feel like yep. he's doing it really well with these swarms or with this tie swarm of coming in and uh getting uh you know put me letting his opponent pump some damage into one or two of these ties and then swapping those out to where you never see them and then giving him some fresh blood, fresh blood to look at. I mean, it's still a pretty close game. We've seen uh, these TIE Fighters kind of flop over once they get separated. Once that item charge goes down, mm -hmm. uh, they, they can be uh, easily taken care of. The problem is, though, is that these Y-Wings aren't known for their uh, like burst damage. Uh, they they got the bombs right. They got the the ion turrets, so a lot of control and uh, an area control, uh, but not like uh, big five dice attacks or uh, anything like double mounted four dice attacks uh, mm -hmm. outside of that uh, ion cannon. I mean the the tie fighters can avoid these bombs if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but like you have to threaten it still, right? But then if you threaten it, then Finn may just run into the back of one. Dion, I don't know what you're doing, but you're showing shots this bomb token. I'm oh, sorry, I'm zooming in. Over. I'm, I'm, oh, okay. I'm zooming in, and uh, it's going in the, di the dice box. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Just, just letting you know. Like, I uh, like a clean, a clean stream. <laughs> keep it clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. That's why the that's why the dingus annoys me so much. That's right. He only made one appearance today. Not bad. Uh, well, you know. Uh, it's um, constructive encouragement. <laughs> so people are uh, asking so wait, questions wait. about about damage. Uh, so somebody critted Gideon. I don't think so. Uh, uh, Gideon yeah, Hask. Yes, yes. Gideon Hask. Oh. Yeah, Correct. yeah. I yeah, got we another. got that down. We got that. Mm -hmm. We got it. We good. There's two Gideons out there. You gotta There's, know. You gotta yeah. tell it's, us it's which Moff, one. It's Moff and Hask. We can't can't yeah. use that Gideon name. Too confusing. All right. So I'm. So what what kind of bombs we got? We got everyone's got proton bombs. Yeah, proton and well, then, yellow. And yellow's Will's, got the bomblet. Yeah, Wilson yeah. has bomblet. Yeah. But these two ones in the bombing position, they got proton bombs. Protons. I mean, I guess you could drop them, and if Finn just won forwards, uh, you mm -hmm. won't be hit by that bomb. You don't think so? Mm. I think he does. No, I think I think it does. Yeah, he can't barrel roll out of it either, if yeah. uh, that's the case. Oh, he's looking at it. I see his hand there. He is looking at it. Trying to measure those ranges. It's I mean, I feel like these are pretty obvious 5Ks from the Y-Wings. They're oh, unstressed. Yeah. You got to get behind these uh, TIE Fighters. All right, we'll pause the time. Apparently, Marcel. Someone asked when uh, the next bathroom break was, and it's right it's now. It's right Great now. Job. Yeah. yeah, this tournament, I, I don't know if you guys knew, but it runs at the speed of Marcel. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, he's... He needs, he's to, uh, needs, to, needs to potty, he goes potty. There's this no, is also, a, this is the man... This is the man who was like, please let us not play round five because I want to go. Like, I don't want to play. <laughs> 
All right. He, he is the spoiled little princess. I'm telling we, you, we man. We all know this. <laughs> Dude, we all know this. <laughs> okay, I think we're back. I think all right, we're cool. doing it. We're, we're playing. Okay, we're playing X-Wing. <laughs> we're, we're back, baby. <laughs> Uh, what what a mess, Marcel! What a mess you are! <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like Marcel will be first player in this one. Here we go. Are we gonna get Ooh, system dingy. phase? Yeah, bombs come down. Andrew believes. Bomb, 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 bomb. It could just be you know one banking out with Finn as well. Very true. Yeah, but towards the right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Finn's left, our right. Yeah. There we go. Drops the double set. Oh, double. He's like, he's saying, listen, TIE Fighters, you go this way, you're going to be sad. And yes, Finn does take the left one bank. Should be out of range right now. Looking at that, it's pretty close. Should be. <laughs> Very close. He should be fine, though, by my guesdimate. Uh, he, yeah, he checks to say, ooh, what, how does that bear roll look? And he says, oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. No K turn. Hard three. Hard three gets around, set up a beautiful second proton bomb. Right now, those those white wings are are in prime proton right. bomb position. If these tie fighters mm. stayed bunched up again, they oh, are sure you catch some blocks. They yeah. are wrecked. Right. Iron comes in, still has that charge active, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, mm. indeed. Nice. Uh, so that's going to be able to. Uh, allow them Ooh. to pick up the crate. Well, he touched it now, so. Well. Uh, he hopes he's not in range of that proton bomb, or else that's a silly action to take. Wait, can you item that? I guess you could. You could. Mm -hmm. If you if you have a question about if you could item it, it's probably true, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole damage is dealt one at a time, except for if it's item. Is, uh, a little strange. Except for Aiden, yeah. Moff Gideon does a five straight part of that formation looking at Poe. Here comes Gideon Hask to bank in the center of the board. Currently doesn't have any targets, but is sitting at range one of Kai. Kicks out of aid. Probably smart. Uh -oh. Yeah, still has Poe. Still has Poe target locked. Jake. Uh, <laughs> Jingo go boom Jingo boom. Is gonna have a problem here. He is going to be guaranteed losing uh, a crate. Uh, uh, this Jingous might be able to barrel out of there. Yeah. You better. <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah, better. I mean, unless you want some offense, would it be nice I mean, to I shoot it, that? Could, it could be what Dell is doing here. Yeah, but I think you're hitting two. Uh, yeah. In that current location, so I might want to. Get on out of there. That's not... Well, <laughs> Marcel said, that's not good. He's not bear rolling? <laughs> no. Doesn't I think, think he'll fit? I think it's because Dell is going to be right there. Oh, maybe not. He definitely fits. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. I think he does. So, if, you, if you get low, you can see that both Aiden and Moff fit in the space mm, before, yeah, mm -hmm. before Gideon. I would have risked it. Now uh, better than taking two proton bombs. Uh, but then again, like whatever, two point ships, you know. <laughs> Say that times ten. See what happens. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. How is countdown gonna just go up one forward, one forward? So countdown is dialed in a one bank right. So I think he maybe should go. Let's go towards right. Poe. Yeah. Leave Finn, Leave Finn yeah. alone. Yeah. Because if you go one forward, you're facing the gas cloud. You can go. If you bank out, you're just going to run into Finn. Yeah, but I mean, I guess at range zero, you might still have a good chance of doing some damage. All right, it's coming in. Yep. He's trying to set Probably up for that Poe Dameron. Yeah, block. Uh, block get out of Poe's arc. Yeah. We got to like the pinpoint accuracy of the tab on that barrel roll was like right in the center of the ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it goes Where right Where he wanted here. to be. <laughs> Wilson making the turn here around the that purple rock. 
And Lock calculate. It's a good combo. Best white linked action in the game. Pretty good. I don't know. Uh, Focus jam. Focus jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Focus jam's pretty good. Pretty lie. good. And one straight for Poe. Going to be sitting range one next to countdown. Ooh, yeah. Tiber Saxon, come on. Strain that Poe. Yeah. So the Tiber Saxon ability that well, Will's Moff talking Gideon about. shoots first, right? And then gets the. No, box. they're all four. They're all no. four. Oh. Four. Yeah. All right. Well, let's deal with these crits first. Proton bomb number one. First one going out to the blue array. damage sensor array. And a direct hit on the green. green. Oh. So that's going to be guaranteed green going out. Hold on. I need to. Just because oh it's Oh, my gosh. Uh, direct hit on both. Yep. Wow. Wrecked. Destroyed. What's the barrel roll button? Do you know? Uh, it would have fit. We can see that it obviously fits. Yeah. The, ba the barrel <laughs> roll would have fit. trying to show him that he could have. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to show him that he probably should have barrel rolled out of there. Uh, well, okay. Wow. Um, well, that cleans out some space. Jingo ah, fresh. Gons. Okay. Ooh, well. Marcel's going to be complaining about that mistake. All podcasts. My dice. <laughs> like, well, I didn't know he had proton bombs. Why would, why would he have a proton bomb? <laughs> no, we're teased. We're teased. Yep. Marcel's, Marcel's still going to pull this out. He's One of the two players will definitely end up with a win. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Poe Dameron lines up a range one shot on Moff Gideon. Four dice. Hit, crit, crit to start. Going to hold on to that focus? Uh, Are you going to spin the calc? Spin the calculate? Yeah, spin the calc. yeah because you're going to get jammed. Yeah, you're going to get jammed and moffed and all bad things. Spend it while At you got you, it. At least this way you guarantee the item versus your charge. Unless you get natties. Oh. Uh. Two crits. Are you no, willing? maybe not. No, don't take two crits. No, he's yeah. going to use item. d darn. So you're saying Gideon Hask gets the tracer, jams off the focus. No, Moff Gideon. Strains. Yo, oh, sorry. Yes, Moff Gideon. And then you strain the countdown to guarantee it, right? More. Yeah. Try to, anyways. Uh, then that gives countdown a four dice target lock. Yep. Iden mm -hmm. gets the cluster missile. Yep. Yep. And also uh, lock ruthless. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's seven, seven well modified attacks, or seven, seven well modified, well -modified dice. dice. Yeah. You no, know, turns out that's how much uh, health Poe has. <laughs> uh, has a heroic though. So. Fo All right, starting yeah, with focus ruthless. Yeah, it just guarantees it. Puts it on countdown. Give me them locks. All right, with three hits. Doesn't even need to roll the dice, but find out what it would have been. Blank focus. Sets up the locks. So countdown, we'll get the first one. Moff Gideon will be the next. I mean, it's free target locks, so we're just going to go ahead and set it up for everybody who is in range. Yeah, it's everybody but Dell. Dell was not invited to the party. Yeah, one of those. One of those to be Moff Gideon's uh, to jam off the uh, focus. Yeah, earlier he grabbed it and set it on Poe was the, the mistake yeah, that was made. Yeah, screwed it all up. Ah, so nasty. Uh, that Moff Gideon combination. Uh, he had originally been running cluster missiles and overtuned, right, to try to uh, imitate like a Commander Malaris-like uh, ship, but the tracer support is just so much better. 
All right, we got hit crit on the initial roll. Spins the target lock somewhere around there. There it is. It's got two. Yep. Countdown's Count got ruthless, so you just reroll both. Oh. And. I mean, I think, what he wants to do. I think you ruthless. Yeah. Knock ruthless Gideon. Off. So. <clears throat> he did it, so guaranteed one shield. Here we go. And Ooh, heroic. Heroic. Oops, saw blanks. And oops. Oh. Double focus without having any focus modifiers. Shields are stripped off of Poe Dameron. Um, we should see the Tiber Saxon strain come down as well. You get no mods, and we're gonna strain you. Yeah. This is yeah. Imperials. Uh putting scum to shame with all their debuff mechanics. Here comes Iden Versio, Cluster Missile. This will be a three-dice attack with a target lock versus a one-agility Poe Dameron. Got two hits already. Guaranteed one. Will there be a second guaranteed? Guaranteed two. Two hits with the one-agility rolled by Poe Dameron. Oh, yeah, down to two holes. Two. No other no, follow-up shots. Delmico from downtown. Two hits. Looking at Finn. Finn able to spend Safe. the focus. No damage. Gideon, Gideon Hask from it. downtown. Drink should not obstructed. Oh, we're going to get that bonus die because he's damaged. Three dice. I oh, took not... an Yep, just one. Guaranteed. Be easy dodge for. The big deal. Now, even if you get three blanks, you use the strain ability to get a focus. But doesn't need it. Yeah. Got the squiggle. Yeah, very difficult to push damage through. Them. Now, here we go. Y-Wing's Revenge. Wilsa into Moth. Blank focus. Reroll into single crit. Moth Gideon's going to take a critical damage. Watch out for the doubles. Let's see what we get. That's a disabled power regulator. Still living. But now we'll be taking a ion token next turn. Has one more turn of freedom in movement. Got to set up for that ion maneuver. Now we got Shasa. Has that ion cannon out the side. Range 2 into Gideon Hask. Gideon has an evade. Here we go. Three dice. Two hits. One focus. Two hits end up sticking. And you're looking for paint here. That squiggle can help you avoid get, getting ionized Oof. when you spend it. Yeah, I mean, there is another shot coming. So you could risk the ion. But not really in a great space to uh, do that ion maneuver. Let's see if Kai can shut out Gideon here. Two hits. With a primary weapon. And those are going through. Gideon Hass goes down. Avoiding the ion ends up killing Gideon Hask. Andrew Oler has officially reached the high ground. 8 to 14. Uh, Marcel only has one, if I'm not mistaken. One on Aiden. Oh, uh, and uh, Del Mico. And Del Mico. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two I, I was at the angle where the wing was covering up the token. So that was a nine-point swing this turn for Andrew Oler. That's huge. Now, with Poe and Finn, both... Oh, uh... Wait, uh, can I? Uh, Wil Wilsa shot at who? Wilsa shot at Moff Gideon. Yes. Range two. Yeah. Yes. Mm. What? Mm. Uh, Machete calling out that when Wilsa would lock Moff Gideon, it would break the last false transponder code, which would have allowed Poe to have the 
focus token. But at the same time, though, Gideon could just take the extra strain to ignore it. Yeah, it would just so, be a difference of strain. Uh, I, you, we're just playing on with that. So, okay. So, who, how, how would Moff Gideon avoid the false transponder code going off? Because By Wilson locked him tra- first. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that what you're asking? I'm talking about the post focus token that would have been jammed off. Right, right, right. But uh, we have to go back to the the target lock. How would he avoid the false transponder going off? On he can't avoid it. But I'm saying no. he can he can avoid the focus by straining himself. The focus. So he would have still had a focus. Yeah. Okay. So then Moff Gideon just needs to take a strain. Uh, that fixes yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Countdown or. Moff has to take a strain. Okay. All right. Let's. Go, I, I let's think go. that would be that, our official ruling. Just play on and throw a strain out, as if he used yep. a, a, th- a strain out and burn one of Moff Gideon's charges. Because yeah, great call, Machete. Actually, that was uh, that does mean a lot. Though to be fair, though, the other attack was blanks into blanks. So we kind of have to. Uh, what do I say? Mm-hmm. Assume that Marcel, you know, calls it on the right one. It's it's a messy situation going back that far. Yeah. So the easiest uh, way to I fix would... it is just with the strain. Right, right. If uh, I always think about it as like the VCR, uh, VCR is what you would put tapes into uh, <laughs> to watch movies. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the VCR buttons. Uh, that are play, stop, and rewind. Yep. That's how I think about most judge situations. Uh, stop would be pause what is currently happening and go back and fix what happened. Uh, rewind would be go undo everything back to that point and then play on. Mm-hmm. And then play, obviously, is just it. forget about the thing and just continue on. In this situation, we're kind of just playing on Mm -hmm. as best we can because we can't go back and fix that stuff. (laughs) So, Pedgehog, what's Netflix? Do I have to... Do I have to get my fishing pole and my net to watch those movies? (laughs) Is there somewhere I can catch them? Is that the situation? So right now what's happening is James is explaining the whole interaction of what happened. Now, I will tell you that, um, like, basically, I'm going to let James go through it for about another minute or two. But then I'm just going to muscle in and be like, your choices are, uh, Andrew, you could have a strain on Gideon or we play on. What would you like to do? Uh yeah, they're they're going back and fixing uh the damage as well, leaving uh Wilsa's original attack without the target lock. Mm-hmm. So uh one damage gets taken off of Gideon and then we're Gideon would have just strained to use his ability to right. deny the focus from you being used. So Gideon gets his health back, but uh Countdown gets an extra strain. I think that's uh the best you could do in that situation. Yep. It only because Poe's second defense was blanks into blanks. Exactly. Right. So the focus token on the second shot would have never mattered. Mm-hmm. Not a great situation. It is on both players to preserve the game state. So when you do lock somebody, make sure they don't have false transponder codes. Uh, were they? Did they accept those terms, James? Yeah, Marcel just had to walk walk it through like four times. So <laughs> yeah, that's it's fine. It's, fine. it's, so it's he, confusing. I, I I honestly think that we need to start carrying around false charges. False charges. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's it's getting to the point where almost every game, any kind, any game, a false is in there. We basically have to just like Hawkeye watch it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and it's it's getting old well it's like a lot of the times it'll be like uh, Django or a uh, high initiative mm-hmm. who's used to when they lock they jam right i'm yeah. the captain I, about, I control it right but they forget about that it can be burned off from somebody else activating before you so i i, I get that situation but uh still you should know hey my opponent locked me do I have all strands bonnet codes active? Yeah. Uh, to be fair, though, this is the ninth game of X-Wing these players have played, and both of them are rocking six-plus ships in their list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm sure their brains are melted by now. Yeah. Well, I will say that uh, Marshall did not forget it when he was jamming Poe, so... Uh... <laughs> well, again, though, that's like the same. That's like the same thought of what I was saying about. Like, I'm thinking about like, it when it's when it helps me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, you think about it less, yeah, defensive and more offensively. Again, yeah, it's a, it's on both players. Warning points to both. Yeah. Now they have two. That's right. Yeah. That's a second. That's a like, second warning point for both. I was like, are we actually counting for Marcel? Because I think at this point, Mar- Marcel's pretty close. Like they're like one one warning away from getting disqualified out of this tournament. So that's <laughs> the next better, round, boys. You guys are DQ'd. Next round. Yeah, you DQ'd exactly. All right, here we go. All in jest. I'm get some somebody's gonna stop the video right there and just rage in the YouTube comments. You know, <laughs> you know, it's be like what? That's uh, just... I mean, we we well, we've known Andrew for a long time. He's been playing in our galaxies events. True. Uh, and uh, obviously Marcel, we mm. we give him ex- an extra hard time because it's a must. Uh, we're sick of dealing with his stuff, but uh, well, also we we do love him as a brother. So right, and uh, it's also <laughs> one of those things because because of that, right? Because because oh, yeah, he is a part of the team. Like, we have to hold him to the highest of standards. See, we can't be like, oh, don't worry about it, man. Be like, dude, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are a pillar uh, D- of the community, and you're making it more difficult for us here. <laughs> uh, X-Pop says, DQ them both, and Paul Heber wins. All oh, right, okay. let's go home. Sounds good. Let's wrap it up. I mean, I got dinner <laughs> waiting in the oven right now for me. Let's go. I, I, let's go. Wrap it up. Not hard to yeah. convince. Yeah, v- Vagabond, though. Um for not knowing your opponent's list, it's knowing your own list, um, and re- recognizing like, hey, if if your opponent's list has stuff that has a false responder codes, like you both need to be watching out for it. But in this case, it was Marcel not realizing he his own ship had false responder codes until mm-hmm. it until until it helped him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that that's just that's just me. Like, I, I'm always checking to see like. Okay, if I do this, what happens? Kind of thing. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm uh, been running a lot of munitions uh, list, uh, so I have I'm on false transponder code alert. So first yeah. question I ask my opponent. <laughs> I'm trying where's to lock fa- you. Uh, do you got any false transponder? Where's, codes? where's the false at? All right, here I we go. I don't believe you. <laughs> we saw Wilson mm. move in tighter. Trying to track down countdown. Here is Del Mico facing off Man, against those, Finn. Those Y Wings bombing runs were excellent. Gonna catch Del Mico with that proton bomb, pop off another crate as well. So, yeah, turns out Marcel should have just taken out the Y Wings uh, mm-hmm. as they. I don't know if you remember that. The double direct uh, to kill both those jingoists. Yeah. I Oof. remember plainly, yes. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. So many. Pretty good. All right. Here we go. Moff Gideon flipping around, trying to track down a Poe Dameron. And Countdown. So Countdown's going to fail the boost to then hard turn. Is sitting just outside of Wilsa's arc. So not going to get shot from that Y-Wing. Did, did Wilsa come in and pick up that crate? She did. No, she's had it. She's had it from, her, oh. from the top of the board. Oh, yeah, she got to calculate there. Yeah, she's been cal- uh, target lock calculating. Um, 
every round. Mm. <laughs> not, not satisfied with that. <laughs> I'm just wondering where one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the fourth. Uh, the fourth one's on the cloud, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Finn st is still alive, still holding on to his crate. Countdown yeah. never was able to finish him off. Yeah, looking back, it may have been a good idea for Countdown to uh, pursue. Well, the Jingoist were supposed to be there to, to shoot at Finn. Uh, good point, good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> All they had to do was survive the two proton bombs. Should not work out. And Iden Versio taking the left turn. Gonna have some shots in the Kai. What you got, Poe? What you got in the box? Does he have he's not stressed right now. Three turn. I I came to help out my buddy Finn. He's currently sitting in Moff Gideon's arc. Does he have his charges up? Yep. He does. Could boost? Okay. He does. Oh, I see him now. They're blue. Focus boost? Uh, yeah, but I don't think... I, it doesn't give you a shot on Dell, but... Uh, you don't think get, so? No. Hmm... Yeah, I believe It'll put that him is correct. In it's arc. close. Do you want to take a shot from Moff Gideon or Del Miko? That's pretty much the, the the choice you're taking here. So you're saying Poe might boost a left then? Any kind of boost is going to put him in Del's arc. Yeah. Um, do you just do you just save yeah, it? I, I just He's just there. saving it. Okay. Uh, Bomb Del. hits Del. Does she take survive it? Damage sensor array. Yes, survives. Ooh. It's like, oh no, I was already focusing only anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, you say that though, but this is salvage. Scenario actions are important. Oh, very true. Here's a range one shot into Moff Gideon. Single hit. Has that target lock. Able to scoop up an additional hit. It's a strain target. Gets the squiggle. Takes one more damage. And uh, Moff Gideon's at... down to one. One. Down to one. Yeah, yeah. I took a ruthless earlier from uh, Countdown. Iden Versio now taking a range one shot into Kai. Range one. Spends a focus for hit, hit, crit. If this is a blank, this is a dead Y wing. Uh, yeah. uh, looks to be three damage down and a direct to boot. 11 to 14. All right. Crawl Count. on their way back. No Countdown, shots no shot. Countdown. All right, Dill. This really needs to hit. Uh, hit Spin's crit. still strained? No, no uh, strain out there. I don't believe so, no. Nope. Oh, double uh, blank. Add the blank, add the blank heroic. <laughs> Oh, no, he wants to add the, the eyeball result. Yeah, and there it that'll is. do it. Uh, I hate this ship. <laughs> nah. Yeah, because <laughs> there, 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 there is a chance that when he adds the blank and rerolls the three, that he rolls yeah. two more blanks and, like, three more blanks. or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, need, he needed at least two results there. Yeah, uh, that's true. To survive, Finn's a, a tricky machine. Tricky boy. All right, uh, this is getting... I mean, I think you strain Poe's focus off. No, this is an end of Wilsa. Really? The full health Y-Wing? No, she's uh, strained, not, I guess. Not full. Well, they missed, and... Marcel spawned on dice stats. <laughs> Upset. And range one from BB-8. Uh, not BB-8. Finn. Uh, oh, take uh, a strain. That's a four ice. hit smackaroo. Uh, I'll see if uh, he remembers. Oh, Del, Del does Del, should Del, have had ability and Del's elusive. Ability, Del's ability. Del's ability. And elusive. And elusive. 
Well, it's not going to be enough. I mean, uh, only one health remaining. Oh. Um, but he gets to try. Sad. Yeah. Almost successful. Uh, wow. Well. Yeah, that pod leaving the big deal alive. Mm hmm. Uh, costing Marcel quite a bit here. All right, there. 11 to 17. Andrew has one, two crates. It's going to get him to 19 at the end of the turn. He needs one more turn. I don't think there's anything Marcel can do here. I don't think so either. I mean, you, I guess you kill Finn he and you get... Kill, he has to kill Finn and Poe. Mm, well, don't... I mean, you could just put a crit through on Shanso. Or Wilso, rather. Kill Finn and make Shazo drop her crate. Well, Finn would get you the, three points and get you to you need fifteen. Three. You need you need you need to pass nineteen. You need to pass twenty. Oh, okay. yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, but hey, if you hey, knock hey, off both pop crates, off. though, yeah, pop pop off the crate. Well, Pose just picks up a crate then too, right? Right. It's like this box is my box. So what happens if you kill Finn and Poe? That's That'd what I'm saying. If you kill Finn nine. and Poe, you'll get you'll get nine points, and then okay, and then you win. And, hopefully, well, yeah. hopefully, then it'd be twenty-one to twenty, Marcel. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, but, I, I think, I think Andrew, Andrew's going to play. He he knows he's got especially the fact that he's got the Poe charge up. That's going to make it even harder. Poe being able to maneuver at initiative six. Right. Wh wh who's who's great. Grab the crate. Who's in? Who who has arc on me? Get out of the way. Easy. And by the way, but you can't. You can, well, true. You can arc dodge. Right? Yeah, exactly. There is no pover drive on this. No po. pover drive. Though if Poe doesn't pick up the crate, though, um, Marcel could keep him. Keep Andrew at nineteen points this round. Mm -hmm. Let's see. See what happens. Marcel will be first player. Uh, Wilson's going to drop the bomb lit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Iden's full Iden. health. <laughs> what was that, James? <laughs> and just threaten Iden. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care. So I'll worry. take it. I don't care. Bomb lits <laughs> don't do crits. Uh, at least I don't think. Bomb lits don't do crits. No. No. Okay. Uh, we see through the gas cloud for the red Y wing. And countdown coming in. Trying to see if he can finish really? off Finn. He <laughs> couldn't finish the job earlier. Countdown. So did, is did Finn not clear his string? No. Well, he took, he, went, two. he took two. Oh, that's right, because he took one on offense or one on defense and one on offense. That's right. Countdown is single-handedly responsible for the death of two ships and several objective points by not taking Finn out earlier. You got to call him into the yes. office, sit him down for a talk. Listen, mm -hmm. you got to finish the play. <laughs> Well, I mean, the pods are notoriously slow, and strikers are very fast, uncontrollably fast sometimes. <laughs> so I, I understand that he had to, like, peel off. Uh, focus up. Get a lock. Does he even have a lock? He doesn't have a lock. It's a striker. <laughs> No targeting computer. Uh, we have seen a couple uh, countdowns with targeting computer, but this one does not. I'm just going to fix it, yep. James. I don't yeah. even care. Okay, they're fixing it. Oh, you got it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Poe here did pick up that crate and is going to 
Wait, didn't pick up the crate? Uh, we're just like throwing all the rules out the window. We don't need rules. <laughs> we don't need rules. Wow. <laughs> do what I, you want. I, do do what you want, man. <laughs> it's the final. They can't DQ us next turn. <laughs> He's like, why no luck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat, uh, chat doesn't know, but that's it's good, good I fun, know, good I fun. Know. Range Those one, jokes, jokes. <laughs> four dice. All right, Finn's dead. There we go. Can't do anything about that. So step one of the plan. It's a five-step plan, but step one complete. Iden Versio digs in some two uh, un un unconsequential hits into uh, Wilsa. Yeah, didn't knock off the crate and no follow up shots to uh, destroy her. Uh, which means he's got to kill Poe here. You need to and double can't moth Gideon the focus away. No. Oh, has the target has lock, lock from, from earlier. Tracer. Two hits. Two hits. You need oh, double, oh, blank double blank. Double blank. Double oh, blank. No, gosh. not today. Takes one. The one that got away. Uh, Andrew's got a range one shot. Finish off Moff Gideon here. He didn't clear his stress. Finish him. Three hits. Takes two. And right there, Andrew Oler is our Mustafar Galactic Qualifier Champion. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron Patrons and Community Members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.